Greetings and salutations. Today I want to show you how to quickly make circuit board jewelry. Uh, now these tips and tricks are only for bad bitches. If you are not a bad bitch, do not attempt to use these tips. So first thing you'll need, uh, hopefully the most obvious thing, is the two-part clear coating and casting resin. That's the major piece. Uh, next thing you'll want to find some medallions that you want to use that you can put your art into. I chose these primarily because they came with a little plastic piece that will be a nice template for me uh, to score out onto the circuit board, which you also need a circuit board. <laughs> then after you score it and cut it out, you'll need to first cut it out with tin snips. Then you'll need a file, multiple types, in order to get it going. And this is what you use to score it with. And then after that, you'll need a heat gun to blow on the resin in order to pull all the bubbles out. And then I have a paper, I'm sorry, a plastic bag and rubber gloves for the uh, process where it gets a little messy. All right, so the first thing we want to do is use something. If it didn't come with a clear piece, you'll have to measure that, measure it out on your board and score it that way. But because I came with this, which is one of the bad bitch bad bitches only tips uh, is to sort of just line that up the best you can and I can use the board edge and I'm actually just going to use this metal file to sort of made up the ends push that up against there hold it down hold it down tight and score it I'm only showing you I'm going to do it hard when the camera's not in my face and while I'm here doing the circle that's gonna be even more difficult but then you lay down your circle see where you're at and uh, score around it alright after you have your score marks see that you can go ahead and uh, attempt to cut them out a tin snips works really good for that as I hope I can show you the square especially well because it just slices it straight through like that. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so as you can see, I'll do the circle later. Um, it probably won't fit perfectly. Yeah, so see how I kind of have a little edging work to do here. So, that's what the file's for. Oh, look at that. That was, uh, was all I had to do. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to do the circle and then we'll try to pour it. And so because mine have a uneven surface, see that? I placed a popsicle stick on the face to uh, equal out uh, to help balance it. So that's why that popsicle stick's there. FYI. Check your epoxy to be sure, but it should be equal parts A and B. And mine came with two cups, so I'm going to measure them out, pour them, and mix them. Alright, so while pouring, you'll notice that one is a little bit more, flows a little better when you pour it than the other side. So what I like to do is I just take the more, the one that flows a little better, and I pour it in. You also notice mine are ex flush with this, which uh, is not ideal, but I'm going to try and overflow it a little bit. Uh, oh, and then what you want to do next is dump just a tiny dab on the base to help adhere it. So then line it up and squeeze it in. There we go. That'll help hold it in place. It's 
also why I'm wearing rubber gloves. Oop, there you can see it kind of overflow a little bit through the crevices. It is good. I think uh, I think it might work out here for me. Pour some on and hope for the best. This is really what I'm going to do here. Let it sort of flow to the edge so I'm not going to overflow it. I'm not going to over overfill. I want it to just sort of slowly fall over. I help it a little bit here. Get it right on the edges. Eh, it's not too terrible. Just barely filling it in. So you can kind of see bubbling there. We're just going to hit it with some heat to pull those bubbles out. See, look at that. I'm going to pull them right out. You can kind of use it to help flow it too. As you can see, this didn't catch all the way here. Come on, there we go. I'm actually going to push it on the edge. Woo, a little too far. Pushed a little too much in there. Alright. Look at that. Doesn't look half bad, does it? Alright. Clean that up a little bit. This, this one didn't do so hot. I'm going to move this one over. Away from all this gunk here that overfilled. There we go. All right, and here they are completed. They came out pretty decently. Um, so I do recommend making sure the back side is cleaned off. We didn't do it for that one, but uh, this one we did, and she came out very nice. So, there you have it. That's how you do it. Hopefully uh, this gets you up and running quickly. Till next time, I'm the Ill-Informed Human. Goodbye.